Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, State Farm employees make their mark as drone pilots. AirMap and Honeywell develop cost-effective tracking solutions for drones. And DJI drones comply with new Transport Canada requirements for advanced operations. Welcome to Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle System International. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. Let's get things started today with a couple of State Farm employees making their mark as drone pilots. State Farm is now recruiting and training employees to become drone pilots. This new drone program will help the company and its customers to better assess damages done after storms and natural disasters. The company has already named six drone pilots, three of which are women. Claim specialist Jessica Hodge said that her selection came as a shock to her. She was quoted as saying, I consider myself an early adopter of technology. State Farm is one of the first insurance companies to use drones and I'm one of the first drone pilots for State Farm. It's cool being on the cutting edge. Now let's take a look at a few stories making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for this week's Unmanned Minute. AUVSI has named its finalists for the AUVSI Startup Showdown. The companies making it to the finals are Qberg, Hionos, Horizon 31, Internest, and Prevision. The companies will compete on stage for investors and organizers at the McCormick Place in Chicago on May 1st. SenseFly and Microsense have announced a new dual solution for efficient crop analysis. The Red Edge MX is a rugged but professional multispectral sensor. The sensor can capture red, green, blue, near-infrared, and red-edged spectral bands. Data from this sensor can be used to generate true color composites and basic crop health indexes. Airbus is starting a short-to-ship trial in Singapore using its Skyway parcel delivery drone. This is the first time UAS technology has been used in real port conditions to deliver maritime essentials. The next few weeks are going to be very busy for all of us here at Aero News. The week of March 25th, our normal coverage will be preempted so we can bring you hours of live coverage from the AEA convention in Palm Springs. Our annual April 1st episode is also right around the corner, and starting April 2nd through the 7th, we'll bring you stories and features from the 2019 Sun and Fun Fly-In. You're not going to want to miss any of this, folks. Now back to the news. AirMap and Honeywell are working on a cost-effective drone tracking solution to provide airspace safety. The companies will develop a cost-effective hardware device to allow UAS to maintain consistent communication with UAS traffic management. The drone tracking solution will support multiple communication options including 4G and satellite in areas without 4G coverage. The AirMap UTM platform ingests telemetry feeds from a variety of hardware and software-based solutions for visualization and monitoring by relevant authorities. DJI stated that nine of its drone models will comply with the latest Transport Canada regulation for advanced drone operation and controlled airspace. The compliant drones are the M600 series, the M200 series, M200 V2 series, Inspire 2, Mavic 2 series, Mavic Pro, Mavic Air Phantom 4 Series, and Spark. Customers will be able to continue using these drones after June 1st, when the Transport Canada's new regulatory framework for civilian drone operations take effect. Well, that's it for this week, folks. Don't forget to subscribe, tweet, and like us. Get real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And for more information on the world of all things unmanned, check out auvsi.org. I'll see you back here tomorrow for an episode of Airborne Unlimited.